Let's speak to Dr. Jos van Burden, a senior researcher on colonial collections and restitution issues at the Free University of Amsterdam. Dr. van Burden, many thanks for taking the time to speak to us. How significant is this return from France, 26 artefacts out of thousands stolen historically? It is significant for them, obviously, but it's only it's also very few. So I think for the Republic of Benin, it is a beginning of a larger scale repatriation. And for France, it, it is a return. It's also easy. And maybe it's also particularly the political agenda of President Emmanuel Macron, both in Africa, where he wants to, to gain more popularity, and in his own country, and also in Europe, because he is the first head of state in Europe who is so outspoken about the need of a new restitution policy towards Africa. This move by President Macron appears aimed at improving France's image uh, uh, on the continent. What's the reaction been from Benin? Well, they are happy with it. And at the same time, they also have questions about it. Macron would have liked to return the object much earlier than but the Republic of Benin, they asked him to wait, to wait until their facilities were finished. And which is a good sign because it means that the Republic of Benin really takes its responsibility for taking care of these objects very well. But they had asked another, they had asked some additional objects and especially, and, and this is very interesting, they asked for free necklaces of female fighters from the time of King Behanzin in 1892. Because these female fighters, they were called Amazons, they were very fierce fighters and they played a very important role. And Benin's argument is that we need these necklaces to tell the whole story of our anti-colonial fight. OK, briefly, because we only have about 30 seconds, do you think this paves the way for more artefacts to be returned to their homelands? I think it does pave the way, but France and other countries should consider the possibility of a generic law for restitution. Because now, for every object that is going back to Africa, a special law has to be accepted with all the procedures, very lengthy. And for instance, Belgium, they have now decided that objects which are proven to have been looted from Congo will become automatically the property of the Democratic Republic of Congo, and then the government in Kinshasa decides when and how they come back.